Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. My beard and I are here to bring you the latest in Fey news because there's a trailer, but we already technically know about it. So there's not really a whole lot to uh, dive into, I'm afraid. Uh, we're going to take the trailer bit by bit since we technically already know all the units on there. Uh, we get a better look, I guess, at their skills and their stats. Um, FYI, this is the first video I have recorded since the giant obvious blunder I made <laughs> in the double special prediction. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I often tell myself, like, don't record in the morning. I do anyway, because sometimes it's the only time I can fit stuff in, and that was that was a crunch time video for sure. Uh, so yeah, there have been double double specials. Like, there have been double duos on those banners before. Double doubles, as I like to call them. Uh, I don't know why I said that we hadn't seen that before. The example was literally right on my screen. So there's that. <laughs> Just one of those days. Uh, we also did a Hero Fest Summon, so if you haven't seen those, check those out. And while you're at it, subscribe to the channel, because... I don't know why I'd ask you to subscribe immediately after apologizing for a mistake that was very obvious on my part in a video, and then still somehow try and convince you that this channel is quality. Oops. Oh well. Uh, I'm honest. That's something. <laughs> right? That's gotta be worth something. Uh, hey, we're gonna take a look at this trailer, and uh, by the way, for all you subs out there, there will be some special news coming in like the next two-ish weeks, I think. So, keep, just, yeah. All right, so, here we go. We're watching. We're learning. We're experiencing Faye. Together. Shiver me timbers indeed. Oh my god. All right. Dude. Bridget? I'm so glad Bridget is here. Obviously, she doesn't have, like... She, she has a, a kitschy kind of weapon, uh, and I've seen some people kind of be like, oh, but she doesn't have... Ugh. I don't care. Bridge is a badass, and that's all that matters. <laughs> so, uh, Helm Bow Plus. That's going to be effective against flying foes. Uh, obviously, it's a bow. Duh. If unit is not adjacent to an ally, inflicts speed defense minus five on foe and neutralizes foe's bonuses to speed defense from skills like Fortify Rally, etc., during combat. Alright, so kind of easier to get follow ups with the speed, more damage with the defense. I get it. Eh. It's not anything beyond fantastic, but that's okay. I'm pretty alright with it. I'm pretty good with it. We're neutralizing bonuses. I like that. Alright, that's not bad. I mean, for a random pirate banner. What are you really hoping for? <laughs> you know what I mean? What are you really hoping for with all this? Uh, Harsh Command. Very, very, very fitting. Uh, Pulse Smoke, which we already know about, so we're not going to go into detail on that. But Steady Impact. Whoa. Uh, this is obviously a new skill and something that a lot of people saw in the Fade Channel trailer-ish thing that we got. Uh, so if unit initiates combat, grant speed def plus 7, defense plus 7 during combat, and foe cannot make a follow-up attack. Very exciting. That's very cool. Steady Impact is really dope. Uh, I will be interested to see her stat line to see how she makes use of that. And um, pretty much how I feel. Interesting A skill for, for a bow to have. Um, but I, I'm, I'm here for it. I dig it. I am here. What color were you again? I missed it completely. I was too... I was too lovestruck. Uh, red bow. That's right. Because she and... I, I'm going to be constantly thinking of her and Tibarn as being opposites. It's always going to be like that. I'm never not going to think of that. Alright, what else we got? Tibarn! Excellent. See, I told you I would be doing that. Tibarn. Like a pirate? Get it? R. Like a pirate? 
You don't get it. It's fine. It's a bad joke. I'm going to be such a good dad. Uh, Sky Pirate Claw. Great. Uh, he is a colorless beast, by the way. Accelerate special trigger. Cooldown count. Minus one. If a unit is not adjacent to an ally, it grants attack plus five and... Uh, oh wait. Grants attack plus five to unit and inflicts attack minus five on foe during combat and unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. Whoa, that's super cool. Uh, at start of turn, if unit is adjacent to only beast or dragon, blah, 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 unit transforms, grants attack plus two. <laughs> so standard beastie things that we that we get with those types of units. He comes with gale force. Oh, that's lovely. And he has heavy blade four. Oh, attack smoke. Dive bomb. What are you? At start of combat... If both units and foe's HP is greater than 80, and unit initiates combat, unit can make a follow-up attack before foe can counterattack. Hmm. Weird. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like the opposite of a desperation, right? Because desperation, you have to be so low. Um, but here you have to be so high in order to uh to make a a follow-up before counterattack. interesting hmm so basically if he's at full health or at least above 80 and he's attacking and his opponent's hp is also above 80 percent thanks to his weapon skill uh he's guaranteed to make a follow-up attack and he's going to make it before his end and his his folk can counterattack. That's a lot of gibberish to say he can hit twice. <laughs> but there you go. That's what it is. Um, interesting. Okay. A little bit wordy. I'm not sure conditionally how excellent that's going to be. But that's fine. Uh, may, maybe, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not as... I don't know. Uh, but hey, I'm not going to complain. I'll take some kind of desperation. I'm good with it. Dive Bomb. It's a, it's a cool name, too. I'm down. I'm here for it. I'm going for Tib Arm regardless, so it doesn't even matter, you guys. It doesn't even matter. I'm already sold. I'm already sold. I'm already sold, dog. Doesn't matter. All right. Geese. Oh, look at this thing. I love it. All right, so he's our he's our lance infantry lad. He's our lance lad, uh, flowing lance plus. If unit is not adjacent to an ally, inflicts attack defense minus five on foe and neutralizes foe's bonus to attack defense from skills like fortify rally, etc. During combat, he's got reposition. He's got fire boost three. <laughs> I must have missed that in the fate channel. Oh dear, uh, and an infantry pulse. Cause why not? This will be your four-star hero, friends. <laughs> so, there you go. Uh, that's that's your four-star. I don't know why fire boost is a thing at this point. I just think of other A skills, and I'm like, yeah, those are probably better. <laughs> Wait, you want to go with distant counter, or do you want fire boost three? Which one would you rather have? You know what I mean? That That's always where my head kind of comes down to. Hmm. Oh, well. Maybe Fire Boost would be good if it weren't an A skill. Maybe that's what I'm... Maybe that's what I'm contending with. I don't know. Maybe it would be better in a B slot. Flyers could use it, maybe. Who knows? All right, so that's, that's that. That's our boy Geese. That's it. <laughs> Not a whole lot to say about him. Uh, cool Lance, if you want to get that. His stat line might be impressive, I don't know. He had 49 double attack up there. So that's cool. This is our newest harmonized hero. But also kind of like a duo hero. If you've been following the Chronicles of Xander and Veronica. Uh, it is a Cavalier Axe unit. So Gate Anchor an Axe. Gate Anchor Axe. Gate Anchor Axe. 
Accelerate special trigger cooldown count minus one if unit is not adjacent to an ally. Grants defense res plus five to unit and inflicts defense res minus five on foe during combat and the unit makes a, follow a guaranteed follow-up attack. Boom. There you go. Bonfire three. Lull attack defense three. Attack defense gap three. And attack defense solo four. So we have a new tier four solo. So that's exciting. If he is now adjacent to an ally, grants attack defense plus seven during combat. So predictable, but nice to have. That's cool. Uh, any Anytime you see a tier four, it's usually not crazy, uh, crazy different. <laughs> kind of just follows that tiering for the most part of the skill before it. Uh, so now we're getting attack defense seven for solo four. Fun. And attack defense three. Great. Uh, if you care at all about resonant battles, you might want to pick one of these up. Just throwing it out there. Uh, I think it's interesting that both of our harmonized heroes, since their debut, are Cavaliers. Hmm. Hmm. Not quite sure how to feel about that, but I guess that's just a, it's just a matter of circumstance, man. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. All right. That's it. I'm really mostly interested in Tibarn and, uh, and Bridget. Alright, so our harmonized skill. Resonant Shields to unit and allies from the same title as this unit. Uh, once used, harmonized skill cannot be activated again every third turn. Alright, Resonant Shields figures. With the kit, this makes sense, I suppose. Grants defense res plus four during combat and the following effect for one turn during units. First combat in player phase or enemy phase, foe cannot make a follow-up attack. Whoa! Forget the defense res buff. We don't care about that. <laughs> this is a much bigger deal. So during units first combat in player or enemy phase, foe cannot make a follow-up attack. So, if you're going four on four, for example, and uh, all of your units can one-shot one of theirs, you win. <laughs> that's that's basically it because they won't be able to uh, to make a follow-up. I guess. Well, I guess if you can if you can take one hit, but maybe not two. Or maybe if you have something where you can hit, you know what I mean? It's whatever. That's kind of important. That's kind of a big deal. I think that's maybe a bigger deal than Mia's, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. 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 All right. All right. If it was cannot counterattack, then maybe that would be much, much worse. But... A follow-up is maybe it's still Leave it to me. it's still cut mm, but it's not mm, it's not soups crazy I guess for them I am at your side Yours. well that doesn't even show the skill <laughs> you were gonna one shot him anyway everyone's a pirate and I love it Ahoy. Avast you, mateys. Uh, remember, Daros is going to be our... Daros? Is that who it is? I think that's who it is. Uh, that's going to be our... Uh, Tempest Trials unit. And we get along with these guys. So everyone is going to take up a color. That's very exciting. I don't think there's anything at the bottom. Nope. Excellent. So there you go. That was it. Uh, the banner is going to start on the 8th, so that gives us uh, a little bit of time, at least. I think Tempest Trials starts on the 10th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that's that's cool. I'm down for that. Hey, guess what? We'll be doing a summon session for this, so if you want to check that out, be sure to subscribe and come on back to it uh, so that you don't miss it. I am going to ask you a question. And that question is, who, who are you most excited for on the bear?
pretty easy question. I don't know why I was hesitating. I was afraid, maybe, as to how you would react. I don't know. The pirate banner is weird. The pirate banner is, is different. It's definitely random. Uh, I feel like if they wanted to introduce Bridget, that they could have just done a normal banner. Because she's, I mean, she's a pirate normally. Daros technically is kind of too, though. So... I don't know what Geese's deal is. I don't know too much about him. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the theme was necessary, but I, I'll, I'll take it. I guess I can appreciate it. Yep. <laughs> uh, what a weird time for banners, am I right? Choose your legends, all one wrong. We got pirates coming up. Hero Fest was messed up, but then it was kind of fixed, but craziness ensued. Just a weird time. <laughs> 2020. A lot of time to be alive. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you didn't. And again, uh, there will be a special surprise-ish thingy coming up uh, that I have been waiting to launch for a little while in probably the next two weeks. So look forward to that, I guess. I don't want to hype it up too much because it might be lame and you guys might not care. So I don't want to get expectations high or anything, you know? Does that make sense? We're going to try and get Bridget and Tibarn, at least, hopefully. I'm hoping. That's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until then, I will catch you next time.